We're here at Freshers' Week at University of Malta and we came to ask students what they're looking for out of the university experience and also what they're looking for in their future in general. Finding more stuff about myself, being able to meet more amazing people. It's something that I've always wanted to do, but I uh, was a little bit late, but it's never late. It's better late than never. To have a successful job at application. Ever since I was younger, I always wanted to be a lawyer. When I go into the work field, I say, I think theoretically I'm prepared. And you also learn as a you person. Know about you can go in as a person as well. I don't like, and what I want to spend my rest of, like the majority of my life doing. And in terms of salary expectations, do you have any idea what that would look like? Or? A broad idea, a very broad idea. I have concepts of an idea, but... <laughs> I want to do it because I like it. Then the salary will come later when I actually have to worry about it. <laughs> Loads of money, of thousands of money. <laughs> I rather do something that I like than look at the salary. With government, our salary, if I'm mistaken, is track five. Personally, I feel it's ridiculous for nine years of studying. Well, for diplomacy, it's obvious that I have to go work with the government, so... The mild, the pay, from what I've been told, the pay may not be great. There are other benefits which balance it out. So, And do you see a future in Malta? I hope so. <laughs> Same. <laughs> in Malta, it's pretty niche. Um, so my expectations is to, be work, is to work abroad in the future. I imagine myself, I don't imagine myself in 10 years living in Malta. And I'm focusing on diplomacy specifically so I can get that work abroad experience. I wouldn't move abroad. I, I would spend maybe a year or less abroad. I want to stay here and uh, maybe I can change some things. I have my family, my friends. I don't want to leave Malta. I don't know. It's a tough question. I don't think I will fully move abroad, but I will definitely travel a lot. I would like to study abroad or to work abroad for a short period of time. I would hope that eventually I would come back to Malta because it is obviously the roots of who I am. And out of interest, we were talking a bit about um, a general political thing. Last election, MEPs, youths were the least likely to come out and vote. Do you think there's a reason for that lack of engagement? Well, activism in Malta in general is lacking. I saw a lot of um, discouragement a lot of, along a lot of my friends, like they simply couldn't care about it. They say like, uh, I don't have a preference, so I'd rather not vote. Not only have they lost like faith in the system, I think they've lost, they've unfortunately lost faith in the country and the state of it itself, unfortunately. Like, things going wrong, left, right, center, it's sad to see, you know, it's sad to hear. We don't really have a choice in this country. It's, unfortunately, we go through a cycle that's just as, like, you know, the cycle keeps on repeating itself. Personally, I think because young people are sort of neglecting um, ongoing political uh, stuff. Uh, politicians, they try to do, make an effort to connect with us, but I think that they're not hitting the nail on the head. I hope that that changes in the future and that students are able to recognize that maybe there is other um, options available than the two major political parties and the more momentum that gathers, the better it will be.